The pupil of your eye is not a thing. It is the opening that lends light into your eye from the forward direction. Pupils and the round mirrors and lenses of a camera are said to be circular apertures. Light enters the circular aperture and can be diffracted. Near the center line of the circular diffraction, the amplitude of the electric field looks like this. The name of this curve is the Bessel function, J1, divided by x. This function first becomes zero at x equal 3.83. Dividing this number by pi gives 1.22. The square of this amplitude gives the pattern for the brightness or intensity of the diffracted light. When you are driving on the highway at night and first view a distant approaching car, you see only a single light from the pair of headlights. Each of those lights is creating its own diffraction pattern within your eye. As the car nears you, you begin to distinguish the two headlights from each other. At the instant that the two headlights are first distinguishable, here are the diffraction patterns from the left and right headlights. Mathematically, the two curves are first distinguishable when the first minimum of this pattern occurs at the maximum of this pattern. We already decided that the properly scaled zero in x occurred at 1.22. In this plot, x is equal to the diameter d in meters of the optical instrument times a viewing angle theta in radians divided by the wavelength of light lambda in meters. And at the diffraction limit, x equals 1.22. Altogether, this gives Rayleigh's criterion for the diffraction limit or the resolving power of a circular aperture. The smallest angle resolvable is theta equal 1.22 lambda over d. This is also equal to s over r where s equal theta r is an arc length. Here is the definition of arc length. Remember that theta is in radians only. The definition of radians came from arc length. In this case, the arc length s is the distance between the two headlights. R is the distance between you and the two headlights. We want to solve for R. We'll take the wavelength lambda to be the middle green color, 550 nanometers, which is 550 times 10 to the minus 9th meters. We take the nighttime diameter D of the pupils to be 5 millimeters, which is 0 0.005 meters and we take the distance between the headlights to be the arc length s equal 1.5 meters. Please do the algebra and arithmetic to show that r equal 11,000 meters is the diffraction limit. The actual value of r will be reduced due to atmospheric turbulence. It is top secret information but the Orwell 84 spy satellite orbits 160 kilometers above the surface of the Earth and carries a 2 meter diameter mirror. Using Rayleigh's criterion, what is the minimum distance s between objects on the ground that can be resolved using light of 450 nanometer wavelength? From the satellite to the ground is the distance r equal 160 kilometers which we translate into meters. The diameter of the circular aperture is d equals 2 meters. We want to find the arc length s for objects on the ground that can be resolved. The wavelength is lambda equal 450 nanometers, which we write in meters. Please do the algebra and arithmetic and show that s equals 49 meters.